Hi friends, uh, for reading with Principal Rob Patterson, we are still reading Riding Chance and today is chapter 23. So let's find out what's going on with Troy. I was really busy that next week. Winston made sure I rode Chance every day. He said the best practice for polo was to ride, ride, ride and talk to your horse. He said he wanted me and Chance to be as tight as could be. Shoot, she knew more about me than anybody else because when I was with her, I'd be talking straight up. And she'd talk back in her own way. You know, she'd neigh and toss her head. Winston be all over the world playing polo. He told me that on one of our long rides, said if you were really good, you could make a lot of money and a name for yourself. Said he'd gotten his start by working as a stable hand when he was a kid. He never said why he quit the circuit, but it was real important to him to win. He talked a lot about going back out to Blanchard with a killer team. Yeah, he liked to show off. And maybe I did a little showing off too, especially after Pops got me a pair of leather riding boots. Made me feel like I was the real deal. So then it felt like other kids were looking at me different. Like they knew I was going to play in the match and be the next star. That's all I was thinking about until the day before Alicia's party. I was doing my usual thing, stretching after my ride so I wouldn't be sore when Jerome came sliding out the barn. Somebody get Dre, he said. Something's wrong with Percy. He can't walk. One of the kids went for Dre and me and Winston followed Jerome back into the barn. Percy was all curled up behind the hay way in the back. He couldn't stand up. He kept trying, but his leg wouldn't hold him. He looked real bad, too. His eyes were all glassy like people on drugs. Winston cleared some of the hay away so there was more room around Percy. He picked up his head. Get some water, he said, rubbing Percy's neck. By then, just about everybody, Alicia and all the other kids were in the barn. Dre came in the side door and almost tripped over Winston. I called the vet. Dre was down on his knees looking in Percy's eyes. He'll be here in a few minutes. Then he looked in Percy's mouth. He also pulled out one of those things you use to listen to somebody's heart and put it on Percy's chest. You could tell he knew what to do. Try to get him to take some water, he said. I hope nobody tried to poison him, Jerome said that. He handed Winston a bucket of water and stood there looking down at Percy. Who would do that, said Winston. He had this strange expression on his face when he looked up Jerome. Why would you even say that? Everybody back up. Give him some room to breathe, said Dre, standing up. Dre said he'd stay with Percy until the vet came. Winston wanted everybody to get back to what they were doing. That's when I felt somebody's eyes on me. You know when you can feel somebody looking at you? Man, if looks could kill, I'd be dead right now. Because Alicia was staring me down. And that was chapter 23. Alright, we'll see you later. Have a great evening. Bye, friends.